Ever wondered what it takes to move an entire Formula One team across the globe every week? It's a mind-blowing logistical feat involving tons of gear, precision, timing, and flawless coordination. Let's uncover the insane logistics of Formula One. So what does F1 logistics involve? To get one of these races up and running, each team transports not just their race cars, but also an insane amount of gear. This includes spare parts, data analysis equipment, garages, tools, hospitality setups, basically everything they'd have at their home base but packed into crates and containers. Now there are two types of races in F1, the European races and the flyaway races outside Europe. The European ones are relatively easier because teams can drive their equipment in trucks. These trucks move in convoys across borders, carrying mobile motorhomes, fancy three-story temporary buildings for drivers, engineers, and crew to operate from. For example, Red Bull's motorhome takes 25 people and 32 hours just to set up. Crazy, right? Then there's the really complex side, the flyaway races. These races happen across continents, so the logistics are way more challenging. We're talking massive planes, multiple shipments, and months of planning. Now, for flyaway races, every team sends five different sets of containers called kits, months in advance. These kits contain everything they need for each race, but are shipped by sea for non-essential gear to keep costs down. They literally leapfrog from one track to the next, meaning each kit gets shipped to a new location, ready for the next race. Imagine it like playing leapfrog around the world, there's always a kit waiting at the next location. Sea freight is cheaper, but it's slower. So here's where air freight steps in. Certain crucial parts like engine components, aerodynamics kits, and even the cars themselves go by air to save time. It's like shipping a whole lab, kitchen, and workshop across the globe every single time. And get this, for back-to-back -back races on different continents, the pressure skyrockets. In 2023, F1 had Las Vegas and Abu Dhabi races just one week apart. That's an 8,200 mile chump across 11 time zones. In F1 logistics, the race against time is literal. Right after a race, teams pack priority items into special pallets that go straight to the airport. No breaks, no delays, and here's the rule. No one can access their gear at the next race until every team's equipment has arrived. It's an all or nothing game of timing perfection. But it's not just about getting the stuff there, it's about setting it up too. When the equipment arrives at the track, it's time. There's a dedicated team that jumps right into setting up the paddock, building the garages and putting together the pit wall where strategists sit during the race. And the team has only a few hours to make this happen. DHL, the global logistics giant, has been F1's official logistics partner since 2004, and they're like the backbone of F1 logistics. Imagine handling over 1,500 tons of cargo across five continents within a nine-month season. It includes everything from race cars and spare parts to kitchen gear and TV broadcasting equipment. DHL's job goes beyond shipping. They have logistics experts on site at every race, handling customs, managing timelines, and setting up on time. And they've added some high-tech touches, like 5G tracking in trucks, real-time fuel monitoring, and even biofuels in some transport fleets. Why? Because F1 has a goal to go carbon neutral by 2030, and DHL is part of making that happen. What are your thoughts on the unseen side of F1? Let us know in the comments. Do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.